In their attempt to rescue Yanagi and Mr. Tate Sako, Rekka, Domon, and Fuko lay siege Kurei's mansion. The first obstacle awaiting them is Maria, the stone guardian who uses her laser to destroy anything that moves. Rekka and his friends seem doomed. However, by taking advantage of Maria's inability to fire continuously, the three manage to topple the stone statue. They proceed to the next room where they confront Leilon Katashiro, bearer of the Katakugutsu Madogu. With her powerful tornado, Fuko wipes out Leilon's army of mannequins, and it seems an easy victory for our trio. But little did they know, they fell right into Leilon's trap. <laughs> Everything's in place. You're my puppet now. The Room of Dolls, Fuko's Desperate Struggle. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you okay, Fuko? Uh, I can't move my body! What the? <laughs> I'm afraid you're sorely mistaken if you thought I was just swinging my sword around uselessly. But I'll forgive your ignorance. You couldn't have known that I was winding my strings around you. Limb by limb. Damn! She can't move at all! Why you? Nobody does that to my Fuko, you bitch! Hmm. Oh, oh! What do you think you're doing, Fuko? I was only trying to help you! Oh! Whoa, Fuko! What was that for? It it wasn't me! Didn't you hear me? I said your little friend's completely under my control. Now you three can fight amongst yourselves to your heart's content. No, Fuko! I... I can't help it, Rekka! Ah! 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 No! Ah! Fuko, stop! I can't stop myself! Ah! What? Damn it all! I didn't want to have to do this, but if I have to stop her, I will! Huh? What's the matter, Domo? Don't tell me she's got you too. Oh. I've got all of you now. Too bad. While you were busy worrying about your pretty little friend, I wrapped my strings around you two as well. Uh. Uh. Damn it, you sneaky bitch! <laughs> Come on, sweet thing. Why don't you tell me who your three friends are? Enough. Huh? <laughs> Oh, please, Master Kure. Why, I haven't even started torturing her yet. And she didn't give us an answer as to the identity of those three intruders. That's not necessary anymore. It seems I gave them too much credit. They made it past Maria, and they even have a powerful Hokage Modogu. Now Leilan's taking care of them. But, but what are you gonna... What are you gonna do with my friends? Don't worry, you'll see them. Or should I say, you'll see their bloated corpses. <laughs> and now you're all under my control. <laughs> okay, Primera. Now it's your turn to play. Sweetheart, but you're gonna die first. <sighs> Can't break this string! Please stop it! Spare her! Take me instead! Oh, how touching! Sacrificing your own life for a little friend. I don't have any close friends like that. Other than these dolls, I've never had any friends. So you see, I can't spare the person who destroyed my whole life. Ah! Fuko, no! Oh, I'm sorry. 
You'll have to forgive Primera. She can't control the sword very well. I wish she could kill you quickly and painlessly, but sometimes she just misses. Ah! No, stop it! You only have yourselves to blame for being so careless and not noticing my web. So here's some advice for the grave. Combat requires calm and careful observation. Ah! Ah! If only I could move! Ah, damn! I... I can't... I can't take it. Oh, is it painful? Too bad, because you're gonna suffer a whole lot more before I let you die. I can't believe I'm hurt so badly. Huh? And Leilon doesn't even have a scratch on her? How can that be? I didn't get a chance to finish her off. But I know that she's seriously wounded. She's gotta be. But she doesn't seem to have any injuries at all. Something's not right. There... There's gotta be an explanation. All right, Primera. It's time for you to finish her off now. Ah, <sighs> uh, can't be. Fuko! No, don't do it! <laughs> She's lost it. <laughs> That's it. Oh, now I get it. You know nothing. You're just hysterical because you know you're gonna die. Fool! It's just the opposite! You know, I've always been told that I should act more ladylike and look more feminine. But that's not me. That's not who I am. And now, when I look at you, I finally understand. You're pretending to be something you're not. And you're not gonna have your way anymore! Using the Fujin again? Oh, how boring. You're no fun to play with. And when will you learn that it's useless on an arm that you can't even control? I might not be able to control my arm, but I can still do this! Oh no! She's doing it again! Fuko! Stop it! Your body can't take it! You fool! Exposing yourself to the Fujin just to cut my strings? Did you really think that I'd let you get away that easily? Well, forget it, because you're not going anywhere! I won't fall for that again! She got it! The Kata Kugutsu! All right, Fuko! You did it! Hey, Fuko! What's wrong? Huh? Well, guys, it's not over yet. What do you mean? I mean that I might have to beat Leilon, but I don't think that that's anything to be too happy about. After all, she's just a mannequin. Just, just a, a mannequin? mannequin? Don't feel too bad. We all thought Leilon was the one controlling the dolls, but actually, she was just another doll herself. It's no wonder nothing we did to her had any effect at all. Then... Then who's the real puppet master here? There's nobody else in this room who can control these things. Oh yes, there is. It's you, isn't it? Bravo! That was some performance. You know, that was pretty clever of you, making Leilon the mannequin look real and then disguising yourself as a helpless little doll. Primera, you're controlling the dolls with your kata kagutsu. You're the one with the madogu, aren't you? No way! Not the doll! It was really her? Leilon's advice to look at things a little more carefully. 
and I noticed that Leilon didn't have a scratch on her after I used the Fujin. But I could see something in your eyes. You played the part of a doll perfectly, but I could tell. You've never ever hurt anyone in your life. You were too afraid, and you didn't really want to kill me. You tried to hide all your feelings by making it seem like Leilon truly enjoyed torturing me. But I could tell. Your eyes said it all. That you're not evil. Oh, Mommy! Did she say Mommy? <laughs> Whoa, now I've heard everything! <laughs> It's okay, Primera. Why don't you tell us what's wrong? Why would a nice little girl like you do something like this? It was about a year ago, when my mother died. <laughs> she was all I had. I cried all the time, and because of that, the other kids teased me a lot. I hate you! I hate everyone! I don't need anybody except my dolls! And then one day... <gasps> mommy! It's my mommy! I went to see her at the department store every day. You really seem to like that mannequin. Here, take this crystal. It's a very special madogu called Katakugutsu. Mommy? Oh, Mommy! <laughs> it's just as I suspected. Not everyone has the power to use the crystal. But you can, because of your intense love for your mother. The crystal recognizes you as its master. If you come with me and help me, you may keep it. But if you don't, then I'll have to take it back. That's why I'm so... I'm so sorry. Huh? It must have been so hard for you. You must have been so lonely. But why? Why are you being so nice to me when I... When I hurt you so badly? Tell me. Oh, don't worry about it. It's okay, I forgive you. Huh? <laughs> you smell so nice, just like my mommy. <gasps> oh, but I can't! I just can't be friends with you because if I betray Kure, he'll kill me. Hey, don't worry about this Kure fella. We'll get rid of him. You just relax and let us take care of everything. I don't get it. Why are you guys doing so much for me? Because it's not your fault at all. You're not to blame for all of this. It's that Kure. He took advantage of you in a moment of weakness when your mom died. Kure! <coughs> Kure! I heard! What's the matter, Kogane? What's got you so excited? I heard that they beat Leilon Katashiro, the puppet master. Is it true? Wow! Well then, I guess this means we better hurry up and torture this girl before her pesky friends get any further. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, Melkoren. Kogane, open the cage upstairs. What? Seriously? You really want to go that far just to get these guys? What do you mean? Uh, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> up there in that cage is a monster you definitely don't want to meet. If we're not careful, he'll even attack us. I can only imagine what he'd do to you. That can't be. What an interesting bunch. Amateurs using Madogus. Rekha. I have a terrible feeling. Rekka and the other two are at Kure's mansion, and they're locked in a life-or-death struggle. So why are you telling me all of this? 
I don't care what kind of trouble they're in. It's got nothing to do with me. They need Tokia's strength. Combined with Rekka, Fuko, and Domon, they could beat Kurei, if only they work together. Jeez! What a lousy job this is! Huh. Ah! Hey, Kure's letting you out for a while. There are three rats loose in the mansion. And you're supposed to go get them, okay? <sighs> Thanks, Primera. Now I'll be able to keep up with these guys. <gasps> All right, then. Let's go kick some butt and rescue Yanagi. Sounds good. But to do that, we gotta get our hands on Kure. Hey there, kiddo. Tell us which way to go, would you? What? Ya? I'll tell you where to go, you big, ugly, rude, know-nothing, know-it-all. And you better not call me kid again. I have a name, you know. Well, what do you want us to call you, then? Uh, Are you saying that Primera isn't your real name? Uh, What's the matter? Uh, Looks like you're blushing, uh, sweetie. Uh, Huh? What was that? I couldn't hear. Gunko Morikawa. Morikawa? Gunko? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gunko, Gunko! Are you Gung-ho, Gunko? I think she's Gumbo Gunko. Gunko, Gunko, Gunko! <laughs> Look at those two. Trying to cheer up that poor little girl. They really are a couple of sweet guys. Well, maybe I'm giving them too much credit. Up you go. This is fun. I wanted to try this, but I had no one to carry me. All right, then. I'm your man. We'll piggyback till we find Princess. Yeehaw! She's probably up on the fourth floor. Oh, mm -hmm. What was that? An earthquake? No, that's not it. It's up there. Maybe he's got a pet elephant. I hope it's not him. Uh, what's the matter, Gunko? Yeah, just what do you mean by him? Oh, we better hurry up and get out of here before he shows up. I got absolutely no idea what she's talking about. Me neither, but let's go. This room is disgusting. What are all these rocks doing in here? Listen, Gunko, are you sure we can keep going through here? We have to go this way or we can't get up to the next floor. Huh? Oh no, he's coming. Who are you talking about? What's that? Is that thing even a human? He's a giant. Just, who the hell are you? I knew it. It's Akio. What is this guy? He's a murderer who was sentenced to 200 years in prison, but Kure got him out and uses him as a bodyguard. <laughs> what incredible brute strength! So, I, uh, guess there's no point in trying to talk to him. Yeah. Just leave this guy to me! Huh? Domon, you're not really gonna fight this guy by yourself! Of course I am! Nobody's ever beat me in a one-on-one -on -one test of strength! Uh. Listen, even Fuko gave it her best without any help at all from us! So what does that make me if I can't take this guy? A big nothing! Let's do this! Whoa! Go Domon! I thought you were crazy to fight that behemoth by yourself. 
but your fighting strength is awesome! The Big Demon Domo. That's what I'll call you from now on. Well, maybe. Next, Demon Domo, his unknown power. My heart is burning with fire! 